Pluto, the most remote planet in our solar system. It is also known as Plavnet 9. It is located in the Kuiper Belt, an area beyond the orbit of Neptune, which is replete with one trillion or more comets and hundreds of thousands of rocky icy planets, each more than 62 miles, 100 kilometers wide. Percival Lowell, an American astronomer, initially proposed the existence of Pluto in 1905 after observing odd anomalies in the orbits of Neptune and Uranus. Lowell speculated that these ice giants' orbits must be affected by the gravity of another object. He predicted the location of this mysterious planet in 1915, but passed away 15 years before its discovery. Based on predictions made by Lowell and other astronomers, Clyde Tombaugh finally discovered Pluto in 1930 at the Lowell Observatory. Pluto was named by an 11-year-old girl named Venetia Burney who lived in Oxford, England. She suggested the name Pluto for the newly discovered planet. Her grandfather, Falconer Maiden, a former librarian at the University of Oxford's Bodleian Library, passed along the suggestion to his friend, astronomer Herbert Hall Turner, who then forwarded it to Lowell Observatory in the United States. The name was well received, and it was officially adapted for the 10th planet in the solar system. The name Pluto was inspired by the Roman god of the underworld, who could make himself invisible, reflecting the remote and mysterious nature of the newly discovered planet. Pluto has five known moons. They are Charon. Charon is the largest moon of Pluto and was discovered in 1978. It is about half the size of Pluto and is locked in synchronous rotation with its primary, meaning that the same side always faces Pluto. Styx. Styx is one of the smaller moons of Pluto and was discovered in 2012. It is irregularly shaped and has a highly elongated orbit around Pluto. Nix. Nix is another small moon of Pluto and was also discovered in 2005. It has an elongated shape and orbits Pluto in a chaotic manner, influenced by the gravitational interactions with Pluto and Charon. Kerberos. Kerberos is a small moon of Pluto discovered in 2011. It has an irregular shape and like Nix orbits Pluto in a chaotic manner. Hydra. Hydra is the outermost and one of the smaller moons of Pluto. It was discovered in 2005 and has an elongated shape. It has a highly eccentric orbit around Pluto. These five moons of Pluto have been the subject of study and observation by various space missions, including the New Horizons mission, which provided valuable data and imagery of the Pluto system. Due to Pluto's distance from Earth, little was initially known about the dwarf planet in terms of its size or surface conditions. However, in 2006, when NASA's New Horizons space mission completed a close flyby of Pluto, it was reclassified as a dwarf planet, leading to the end of its status as a full-fledged planet. This reclassification was determined by the International Astronomical Union, IAU, as Pluto did not fulfill the three requirements for a full-size planet. During the flyby, the New Horizons spacecraft provided up-to-date information and photographs of several objects in the inner and outer solar system. It went on to explore the Kuiper Belt and other regions. The reclassification of Pluto sparked discussions and controversy among scientists and the general public. Through data gathered by New Horizons, astronomers realized that there were more galaxies than previously assumed. The mission also provided insights into the surface features of Pluto, including its enormous nitrogen and methane glaciers known as the Heart. Pluto's surface is cratered, with colors ranging from white to tan and brownish red. The surface is covered with ice composed of water, nitrogen, and methane. Pluto's surface features and smoothness indicate that current geological activity is causing upheaval and covering depressions by asteroid impacts. The presence of mountains on Pluto suggests geological mechanisms at play, as these icy mountains have been observed for the first time outside massive planet moons. The mountains are believed to be relatively young, potentially only 100 million years old. Pluto's surface temperature is predicted to be around minus 230 degrees Celsius, and it is composed of rock and ice. The Kuiper Belt, where Pluto resides, is home to many tiny objects thought to be remnants from the formation of our solar system. New Horizons continues to explore this region, providing valuable data about the history and origins of the solar system. In summary, the exploration of Pluto and its system by NASA's New Horizons mission has brought significant insights into this distant dwarf planet. The mission has shed light on its surface features, composition, and geological activity. The data collected contributes to our understanding of the outer reaches of the solar system and provides clues about the formation and evolution of celestial bodies.